New technologies are skyrocketing, almost out of control, and huge amounts of money are changing hands. Artists and startup companies are being crowned as pioneers of a new era. I'm sure you've heard the word metaverse and future mixed together a lot in conversation as of late, and you may be wondering what is the metaverse. You'd be forgiven for not knowing about it though. The phenomenon we're describing is literally occurring in an alternate reality. So in today's video, we will be looking at what the metaverse is and how it will impact fintech and the finance sector. The metaverse is a convergence of our physical and digital lives that is being brought on by advancements in internet connectivity and blockchain. It's a combination of multiple elements of technology, including virtual reality, augmented reality, and video where users live within a digital universe. Supporters of the metaverse envision its users working, playing, and staying connected with friends through everything from concerts and conferences to virtual trips around the world. It has been described as an even more immersive and embodied internet, where you're going to be able to do almost anything you can imagine, get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, and create, as well as an entirely new category that don't really fit with how we think about computers and phones today. It is loosely defined as an extensive online world where people interact via digital avatars. It's just the culmination of our science fiction fantasies, what Tron and Ready Player One imagined, but starting to happen right now. Facebook's rebranding as a metaverse innovator opens up opportunities for firms looking to embed fintech solutions into this next iteration of the digital realm. The ability to manage finances and transactions in this new environment will be key to making it as immersive and comparable to real life. And the coming of this age will not only both earn and spend money within the virtual world of the metaverse, but seamlessly translate it into real life via stablecoin crypto money that doesn't change in value. And this will be as disruptive to transactional and custodial services and the middlemen who run them as Amazon was to stayed world of books a generation ago. Over the past decade, a key driver of fintech innovation has been easing access to financial services online, as Google has done with information, and as Amazon has with consumer goods. The pandemic encouraged people to interact digitally more than ever before, and fintech adoption boomed. 88% of US consumers now use fintech solutions. Following this trend, adoption of the metaverse will come with similar consumer expectations for access to financial services. You may be wondering what fintech solutions might look like in the metaverse. Well, Facebook recently launched its digital wallet, Novi, in the US and in Guatemala. Coinbase is supporting the pilot by serving as the custody partner. This suggests Facebook will look into the blockchain to power transactions in its metaverse. We are already seeing the technology being used in emerging metaverses. Cryptocurrencies and video games, long before the term metaverse became popular, video games were at its forefront. Games make digital worlds engaging through fun gameplay that keeps users coming back for more. Developers are now increasingly looking at crypto transactions to transact within the game because they can boost sales via a play to earn model and function cross-border much more easily than fiat currencies. Secondly, NFTs. Twitter plans to let creators share their NFTs on its platform by connecting their crypto wallets. NFTs could let creators sell their content without intermediaries and build online communities, a key feature in a metaverse. As Facebook and Microsoft position themselves as the gatekeeper to its own metaverse, fintech startups could benefit from integrating their solutions into its ecosystem. Alternatively, larger fintech players may explore creating their own metaverses. Coinbase's upcoming NFT marketplace, for example, will include personal feeds based on each user's interest to help connect them with like-minded users and creators. As you have noticed, all of this ties in with decentralized finance. The regular banking sector is nowhere to be seen in the metaverse. Instead, decentralized finance or DeFi solutions that use cryptocurrency are taking off within the metaverse. It's how NFTs and digital property is bought. Tickets are sold, one token is exchanged for another, and other transactions take place. If conventional banks continue to remain absent, the momentum of people living in the metaverse increases. DeFi will surge just based on the number of transactions increasing, multifold. Right now, each metaverse platform so far has tried to use a different cryptocurrency, such as Facebook's metaverse may base around its DM stablecoin. Let us know your thoughts about the metaverse and what impact you think it will have on the finance industry or in general. As the metaverse unfolds, new and innovative finance solutions will emerge and we will be keeping a close eye on it and bring you updated videos as it evolves. 
So please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so not to miss out on more.